Is that pretty for a box of biscuits? I feel like that's expensive for a box of biscuits. Bing. <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel so today i thought i would do a monthly roundup for june i was gonna call it a june favorites video but i don't know if people still do those so i'm just gonna call it a monthly roundup first i want to talk about some beauty products i've been loving throughout the month of june i haven't been wearing too much makeup but two products i wanted to test out were the fenty beauty pro filter face primer and the fenty beauty pro filter amplifying eye primer. I thought that lockdown was the perfect excuse to try these as if they didn't work out nobody was gonna see me wearing them and them not working out but luckily I have tried and tested and I absolutely love them. So the eye primer is just amazing. It keeps my eyeshadow looking just as it did when I put it on in the morning and I've seen absolutely no creasing or anything like that which I used to get a lot on my eyes. My eyes are a little bit hooded so I would have been prone to creasing but with this it has absolutely just wiped that out and the face primer is amazing. I use this with the NAR Sheer Glow foundation and I don't find that I look oily or anything by the end of the day. I only need to retouch up on powder maybe once or twice and um, throughout a whole day which is great especially because it's been a bit of warmer weather recently so I absolutely love these two and I would highly recommend and also can we just look at the packaging I mean it's like matte glass packaging with like pink accents and I just love it it's so pretty so those are the only two sort of makeup products I have to talk about. As I mentioned before, I haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup through lockdown. I've been trying to use lockdown as an excuse to sort of really work on my skin and develop a good skincare routine that I absolutely love. So I contacted my own personal Caroline Hirons, my best friend Emma, and asked her what sort of products I should be using. And she told me about the Pixie Glow Tonic. And I absolutely love it. I was a bit scared to start using acids on my face, but I've been using this morning and evening just on a cotton pad and there was a little tiny bit of irritation the first couple of days I used it but the more I used it that all went away no redness or anything it's 5% glycolic acid so I think it's a bit gentler than some other acids so I would highly recommend this if you're just sort of starting to branch into that side of skincare so I also learned that once you start using acids in your face you need to be using sun cream every day and you should be using sun cream on your face every day but especially when you start introducing acids into your routine because they make your skin more sensitive to the UV rays. So I picked up the La Roche Posay and Thelios sun cream for your face. The SPF is 50 plus so it's going to protect you no matter what and this is amazing. I love it. I haven't noticed any breakouts. It hasn't made my skin dry. It's not too thick. It sits very well under makeup. And yeah, I would highly recommend and definitely you should be using an SPF every day. The last skincare item I want to talk about is the Lumine Nordic Sea Glow Boost Essence. I have never really used serums before either. I think during this video you'll realise that my skincare routine was quite basic. It was literally just a cleanser and a moisturiser. But I really wanted to start taking more care of my skin. So I picked up this serum and I love it. My skin used to look quite dull, but ever since using this, I have just noticed such a difference. I have had so many people say about how my skin looks really glowy and it's literally all down to this. It's amazing. So the last sort of beauty item I want to talk about is a fragrance I've been loving. Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede Cologne. This smells... Oh, this smells amazing. I originally picked up this in a smaller size when I was going to Amsterdam and I tried it in the airport and I absolutely loved it. And I had a House of Fraser voucher so I just thought I'm going to treat myself to the bigger version because I absolutely love it and I was gutted that it was running out. And I've just sort of been using it as my go-to everyday perfume because why not? I feel like if I've spent money on it, I'm going to use it and enjoy actually having it. I want to go into a few entertainment favourites. A couple of music favourites have been Rain On Me by Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. I just think it's fantastic. It is such a tune. Also, Past Life by Trevor Daniel and Selena Gomez. It's just so like chill and oh, it's amazing. You just, you need to listen to it. I've also been loving Haim's new album. I really like this single. I think it was a single called Don't Wanna. I really liked it and their album just came out. So I've been making my way through that. 
A couple of things I've been enjoying watching this month have been Hollywood and Selling Sunset on Netflix. Hollywood's just kind of like, it's just kind of glitzy, glammy, but also goes into some of the societal problems and I think it's really good. I also watched Selling Sunset. <laughs> Me and my boyfriend binged this in about a week. Oh my god, it's insane. It's just all about the luxury LA lifestyle. You get to see some of the really luxury LA properties and they're just insane. Like I can't believe people actually live in these places. So I would definitely check that out. It is such good reality TV. It's one of those like guilty pleasure shows that you're like, it's not really a guilty pleasure. I'm not guilty. I don't feel guilty about absolutely loving this. <laughs> and lastly, I just want to go into some extremely miscellaneous favourites. I've been working from home for the majority of the lockdown and I've become such a snacker. I really enjoy my mid-morning coffee and biscuits now. And I picked up these. These are the M&S Extremely Chocolatey Dark Chocolate Rounds. And they're so nice. They state on the packet, more chocolate than biscuit. And it's so true. They're so tasty. I could literally eat this whole box in one sitting. I definitely try not to. I take one out of the box, set it down and run the box back downstairs. Just so that I don't eat the entire thing in one sitting. But highly recommend these. And I think they're only like one pound. And my last favourite, this will probably come as no surprise to anyone who knows me that's watching this, but ever since working from home I have been missing the Nespresso machine in work so much. I finally just bit the bullet and bought myself a Nespresso machine and I love it. I think I drink about three or four of them a day which is so bad but it's just so handy now not having to like faff about and make a coffee. I just stick a pod in and I'm good to go. My favourite pods are these Starbucks Pipe Place Pike Place Roast Pods. These are just the perfect strength for what I like and yeah I really like them and they're really easily accessible as well because they sell these in the supermarkets so like Tesco, Asda, that kind of thing so you don't need to worry about getting to an espresso shop or ordering them online. So that is everything that I've been loving throughout the month of June. Please let me know in the comments what you have been loving. Everything that I find will be linked down below and yeah Thanks for watching and hope to see you in my next video.